Hello, friends, and welcome to another Music in Motion story time with me, your old pal, Mickey, from right here in the Columbus Public Library. And if we're doing a Music in Motion story time with me, your old pal, Mickey, from right here in the Columbus Public Library, then I bet you know what we're going to start out by doing. We are going to start out by shaking our sillies out. So let's get to it. Ready? I gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake. Let's try clapping our crazies out, only this time we're going to go a little bit faster. Ready? I gotta clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, wiggle my waggles away. Great job. Now let's all try to jump our jitters out and we're going to go super, super fast. Let's see how fast we can go. Ready? I gotta jump, jump, jump my jitters out, jump, jump, jump my jitters out, jump, jump, jump my jitters out, wiggle my wiggle away. I gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my wiggle away, wiggle my wiggle away. Great job, everybody. Now, let's sing a song about two of my favorite foods, apples and bananas. And I bet you know this one. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Now, what if we do this song, but with a different letter sound, like A, apples and bananas? Let's try it. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. How about we practice more vowel sounds like E, Eeples, and Beninis? I like to eat, eat, eat Eeples and Beninis. I like to eat, eat, eat Eeples and Beninis. I like to eat. I like to oat, 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 opals and 
open on those. I like to Ready? I like to boot, 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 ooples and banoos. I like to boot, 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 ooples and banoos. I like to boot, 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 ooples and banoos. Now that we've uh, shaken our sillies out and practiced our vowels, I don't need this anymore. Because today we're going to read a story, and today we're going to read a story called Pig the Winner. And this is a book about Pig the Pug, who is in this case a winner. In fact, he's even written on the first page that Pig came first. So he's the winner. Let's check it out. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, if he didn't come first, it would ruin his day. Yes, Pig was a winner. He just had to win, and nothing would stop him. Oh, where to begin? Believe it or not, he was quite hard to beat. And the reason was simple. Yes, Pig was a cheat. But if he did lose, he'd throw a pink fit, he'd scream and he'd cry, and he just wouldn't quit. He'd sob and he'd sulk with a quivering chin till you gave up and said to him, Okay, you win. But as soon as you said it, he'd clap and he'd stamp and he'd rub it in loudly that he was the champ. Trevor would say to him, Let's just have fun. But Pig would reply, it ain't fun till I've won! So one night at supper, Pig shouted with glee, Who can eat faster? I bet that it's me! Trevor said shyly, I don't want to race. But Pig had yelled, Go! and was stuffing his face. He wolfed down his food, he gobbled his kibble, his face was awash with biscuits and dribble. He chomped up three sausages, all of them whoppers, and he munched through his doggy treats, gnashing his choppers. He swallowed it all in a minute or less. But something went wrong, do you know? Can you guess? Because he was busy stuffing his hole, Pig didn't notice he'd swallowed his bowl. Lucky for Pig, Trevor knew what to do. He squeezed out the bowl before Pig could turn blue. But Pig didn't thank him. He just said, I win! Then the bowl bounced right back and knocked Pig in the bin. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's not the winner each time that they play. He plays to have fun, and his tantrums have ceased. Yes, Trevor can win now. Well, sometimes at least. And that is the end of Pig the Winner, another book about Pig the Pug, who we don't really want to be like, do we? <laughs> So, if you want to read more books about Pig the Pug, I have tons and tons and tons of them here at the library, and you can come and get them for free today, and take them home, and read them, and when you're done reading them, you can bring them back, and some more kids can get them and read them. And, while you're at it, you can check out all the other videos that are on our Facebook and our YouTube for the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. I'm Mickey, and I'm so
so happy to see you all and so glad that you came for this musical story time. And I'll see you next time. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten. 90%. So talk, sing, read, write, and play with your child every day. Those five simple steps build the foundation for a lifetime of learning.